Okay, so here we are, we've got our search table. So remember when you're searching on the internet, it's not just type a question into Google, you wanna get better answers by applying search strategies. So you start off with your question. Yep, the question in this case is, how does wireless communication between devices work? Once you've got your question, you select your search tool. There are many different tools you can use. There are search engines like Google and Bing, there are specific search tools for searching different types of um, media like YouTube search. And there are also customized search engines like Google Scholar or Google News or New Search for searching um, certain types of information. In this case, I'm just gonna use Google because that's what most of us use. After we've selected the search tool, we then need to extract the keywords and terms. Search engines work best when you put the keywords in order of importance. So any suggestions out of this question, which would be the most important keyword? What should I be doing first? Work. Work. Yep. Other suggestions? Key, important keywords? Communication. Yep. Other keywords? Wireless. Yep. Devices, yep. Technology. technology. Now, technology is not in my question. Why might I want to put technology as in my search term? Because it relates to the question. Excellent. It's a synonym. Okay. So you extract the keywords and synonyms. Then you apply search strategies. And this is about if there's any phrases. So a phrase is a term that you want to try and keep together. Right, so it's two or more words, you put them in quotation marks, and then a minus sign for words that you don't want. So I think they're mostly pretty good um, search terms there, but I think out of those keywords, the most important one is wireless, and then I'd say communication. And I actually think I, want, I only want to talk about wireless communication, so I'm going to put that in quotation marks because I want to keep that as a phrase. Yep. Um, and then I want uh, maybe devices and then works. I'm trying to think of the order. Now, when I, I'm thinking of wireless, I don't want anything to do with satellite technology because that's not to do with the context of the question I'm asking. So I'm going to minus satellite. I don't want any results that are to do with satellite. Okay, so now I've applied those search strategies. I copy that and then I pop that into... Um, my Google search bar. Okay, and now hopefully what I've got is some better results, yep, better search results than if I just copied and pasted my question. Okay, so now I've got some results. What do I do with that? Do I just take the first one? No, I skim and scan. I skim down and I see, well, what might be a reliable or, or authentic source that's going to help me answer my question? In this case, Britannica, yeah, I know that's an online encyclopedia. That's probably going to have some reliable information. I've looked at the little snippet, so I'm going to now dive in a little bit deeper into that. Okay, And so I'm reading that and I'm making some notes. So maybe this here is really important for me, that those are the different types of devices. I'm going to copy that, put that um, in my notes. And again, this, so any useful information, I'm not copying and pasting whole paragraphs, I'm trying to summarize and extract. And then I also need to add that reference in APA. So again, how we do that, we copy the website and we know that Google Docs has a citation tool. We use APA. In this case, it is a website and I type in my website and I just picked it up, so I can continue with that, and I add the citation source, okay? And when I click in there, where I want the citation source to go, I can click Cite, and it inserts that citation in there for me, okay? Uh, once I get to the end, after I've got all my citations, then I go to Insert References, and that's gonna do the full detailed APA reference um, at the bottom.
So that's actually, I've put that in the wrong place. I need to remove that from there. And my full reference source, if it was a bibliography, at the bottom of my writing goes there. So that is how you complete that search task.